Hi, I'm Dali from Dali Art and today I'm going to be using some of the Pentart products. I'm using the metallic bronze and I'm also using the crackle paste primer and crackle paste. I'm going to start off with painting um, just my grey board um, with the um, metallic bronze. Um, I've not actually gessoed this, I'm just going to take it directly onto that. And the paints are just so lovely, they just literally just stick to the surface. So it's a really nice um, product to use. I'm basically covering all my grey board with this metallic um, uh, acrylic paint. And as you can see, I'm you know it's quite quick to cover. And I'm, I'm not really taking too much care because I'm actually going to use the crackle primer and crackle paste over this. So basically, once you've covered it all, done all the edges, you can just see how shiny and lush that is. Um, you're ready to actually start applying the um, crackle primer. So the crackle primer is, is like more, um, I would say like a PVA. Um, and so once I've finished drying it, make sure you have dried it. Um, you can then start applying it. I just take a brush to apply it and it comes out like a, a sort of a white PVA. Um, so here we go. So just apply as you would any other paint using your paintbrush and directly onto the surface as long as it's dry. Then what I do is, is I have, you can either wait for it to dry or you can actually heat, use a heat gun um, to dry it. So I'm just going to basically cover all of this just with a thin coat so it goes a long way um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a heat gun and cheat. But you can leave this to dry and it will become translucent. Once it's translucent you can then apply the cracking paste primer over the top and what you'll find is it won't even, you won't have even finished where the thin layers are the cracks will start to appear. But I'm taking my, again my heat gun and just applying it it doesn't bubble so don't worry about that and you get a beautiful effect um, it would be good to see what it would look like if you obviously let it dry naturally so you can just see how beautiful that is some big cracks and some smaller cracks so from there what I want to do is, is I want to introduce a new stencil paste I've got my circular stencil uh, this is a circular floral stencil and um, it's absolutely beautiful so I've got the hollyhock and I've also got the candy floss these are really beautiful luscious pearl colours and this is the ice flower. So you can just see, now this is a metallic range where you've got the black, the gold and the silver. I'm actually going to start off with the hollyhock and the candy floss. So using the candy floss just basically use your palette knife and then as you would just push the paste through the stencil keeping it flat as if you were just basically toasting, putting butter on toast. So you can just see, they just it's just so beautiful to work with. They're just so luscious. They're just smooth and creamy and really rich. And they leave a lovely dimension on your card or your project. Um, I'm mixing the colours. It's really nice to mix the colours. They work really well mixed together. Um, I, I would recommend that you actually um, put masking tape and uh, onto to, to hold your stencil. Um, I'm also going to add a bit of the gold because we've introduced the gold in the background. I want to pull that to the forefront as well so we're not losing that. And this works really well with the pearl range because it's very metallic, it's very rich and it just pulls all that project of that circle together. So you can just see, so I'm just basically just taking the palette knife and spreading it as if it was butter. I mean you can take more care, you can take, you know, take your time over this. Um, but I just want to show you how well these products work. So here, further reveal, is a beautiful circle forest stencil with the beautiful paste. Obviously when these dry they'll be really shiny. Um, as usual, I haven't got any patience and I'm going to take the heat tool to it. That was my hand, switching you off. So what I've also done is I've used the hollyhock and I've actually gone through um, and then the butterflies. Did you see my cup of tea there? That was yummy. So I've basically cut out the butterflies, I've put them onto my project and as you can see um, they're sort of taking flight. What I've also done is um, uh, done the butterflies with the gold metallic. I had to put the camera forward because I was too far. So um, what that will do is, is it will just give them a little bit more life and also bring again the background into the forefront. So it's always good to keep keep a you know a number of colours with you that you use in the backgrounds and your forefronts, 
So when you're planning a project, it's important that you think about that. Um, and then this helps you pull it all together. And then you've got these really lovely um, butterflies just fluttering around. Um, I'm using the black diamond stencil paste just to edge the grey board. Um, so it just brings it again, it makes it pop a little bit. I don't want to cover all the gold because that's really, really beautiful. And I think this makes it look more antique. And you can just see the dimension of, of the stencil paste there. So absolutely beautiful. So you can just see how this project's coming together. Um, and then what we'll do now is, is we'll put those butterflies on, put a sentiment on, and then I'll show you the, the, the final product. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.